November 5th, 1872, a girl with a black dress walked into the voting station. So, you might have already known this girl was named Susan B. Anthony, and everybody knew her at that time because she was the most, well, she was the most courageous, most ongoing, the best woman, um, the best of voter for women's rights. And surprisingly, she did it, but we'll get more, um, you'll get more onto that in a, later in the book review. So, Susan B. Anthony was born on February 15th in 1820. And so, well, Susan B. Anthony had a lot of sisters, a lot of nieces, a lot of family, but sadly, a lot of them died when she was growing up. So she was like, woe is me, like, I'm really sad. But the only thing, like, that seemed her family at that point was voting for women's rights. So, and, uh, well, nothing really happened, but uh, Susan B. Anthony strived because she was really angry. Why couldn't women vote? And I was, I would be on her side too because not only men, um, not only men should vote, also women should vote because what's different beside us? Um, what's different about us? We're just all human after all. Um, at the end of the day, and uh, so Susan B. Anthony really loved teaching, so she um. When she went to a school when she was young, and she, so all the other boys were learning long division. And basically, the teacher said, um, um, Susan B. Anthony asked the teacher why she couldn't learn long division. And she, and the teacher was like, oh, because girls don't need it. And she walked away. But Susan B. Anthony gave, it, gave the teacher a dirty smirk on her face, um, which I do, too, because why can't women also learn long division? I mean... Why couldn't they? So Susan B. Anthony, when she grew up, I believe when she was uh, 17, she opened her own school with her father. And really, uh, they just tried getting money to teach because they were very poor at that time. So the school was in like, like kind of a shed, but uh, much bigger than a shed. Kind of a lot of bigger, kind of more bigger than a shed, but like three times bigger than a shed. I really used a lot of, I really used the word a lot, uh, shed. But Susan B. Anthony, she just strived to teach, even though with such a small space to teach, she still had a lot of in her, a lot in her brain, unlike, uh, like, kind of, it's kind of racist, but with boys and girls. Like, I didn't know really how to explain that, but Susan B. Anthony, she still tried, she, she still strived, and she studied, so she was really, she was actually really smart. So Susan B. Anthony, she was a teacher, and she really loved teaching all the boys and girls, but it wasn't enough. Soon, uh, when her, when she got her monthly, like, salary or something, she had, um, a few dollars, which was a lot at that time. And so Susan B. Anthony bought her mother six saucers, um, six saucers and six teacups. Well, later when they were about to become broke, they had to sell everything ranging from teacups to pots to even underwear that had already been worn. I wouldn't even buy that. So Susan B. Anthony had a really rough time growing up, but the only thing she strived to do was to, well, make women voting uh, rights a thing. So in 18, November 5th, 1872 was when she tried to do it. And well, they just didn't let her happen. They just didn't let that happen. So in March 1st, 1849, she gives her first speech. Although she's a, she, although she's a little scared, uh, she still does it. And she does a wonderful job. And well, this is what the book is mostly about. Um, Susan B. Anthony going to different states, different, like just everywhere around the world and the United States mostly. But later in life, she went to England to give national speeches, which is pretty crazy because thousands of thousands upon thousands of people gathered at her speeches, her conferences, her meetings. I mean, she just really strived to get her goal. So, um, Susan B. Anthony, well, she really liked giving speeches, but not that much because, um, remember when I told you that a lot of her family was dying? She wanted to be there with them, their last moments, 
hugging them, kissing them, holding hands, and just not wanting them to die. Like, hang in there, just, just don't leave. And, well, it was just a really hard time for her because, well, she had a bunch of hard stuff in her life, uh, being, like, kind of segregated by boys and girls, uh, being kind of bullied, I guess she wasn't. That happened in school, uh, having tough time with family, having people die, friends, nieces, like everything. It was just, just a really hard time for uh, Susan. But soon she became popular worldwide, and some other, some other states had already had the um, right to for women to vote, but not California, and it even got on a newspaper. But slowly but surely. Uh, women's voting rights, like the Congress, the president was like, they're catching up on us, and they try to do something. They try to post articles about uh, Susan B. Anthony um, doing stuff, doing bad stuff. Like, uh, for example, you find it in this book, but you don't always want to believe the news or newspapers or the government. But. Uh, at that time, Susan B. Anthony was like, no, I didn't do that. No, I didn't do that. She was just, that just, that was the one of um, the other things that uh, made Susan B. Anthony angry. Like, misinformation, for example. The government, like, or the the president said, um, there's only one example in this book, so it's, I'm blanking on the, what they did, but uh, Susan B. Anthony, well, she teamed up with anti-slavery because slavery was a time at that time. And really, both of them were fighting for something like, kind of like, not, well, not really alike, but both of them were fighting for something like anti-slavery, votes for boys, uh, um, not boys, uh, men and women. I mean, no, not men, uh, women. But soon, the anti-slavery turned their back on her. And well, she wanted to create an association called, I think, um, M A W S A Masa, or yeah, M A W S A. I think that's, I think that's how it's spelled. It's like, um, I'm just blanking on the name right now. Just you'll find it in this book. But Susan B. Anthony went national to give speeches, board meetings, and then. Well, she was getting older, so she was more strict, more mean, more, like, dedicated to her goal because she knew her time was going to be up soon. And, um, well, on newspapers, like, just misinformation, a lot of that was part of this book. Speeches were part of this book. Um, board meetings, meetings were part of this book. But and the MAWSA Association of Women... Well, it was growing and growing and growing. Soon she had 25 nieces in the whole group itself. And really, they were working. They just kept on working to strive for uh, their goal. But in 1881, um, I believe, the Congress voted for women for white. And well, like a majority of them pulled and they said no. So, but... Susan B. Anthony's time was up soon, which meant, like, in a few months, she would, she would die, um, but so she kept on doing her best, even though she, she needed help for her friends to walk, because, like, she was 80 at that time, <clears throat> so, I mean, so it's hard to walk, I mean, I get, I get her, um, I catch her drift, I mean, she, it was just a really hard time for her. Like, she had a bunch of stuff on her back. But, um, sadly, on August, um, um, March 3rd, March 13th, 1906, Susan B. Anthony died. But it's not a time to just stop the MAWSA Association because what have they came, um, they've come all this way for nothing? No. Although their leaders were, were gone, she chose another uh, president for the group, so it wouldn't just go crazy and everyone would do whatever they want. But luckily, in August 18th, 1920, women, women had the right to vote. 
and it's just a really happy story right here you can see the exact date uh august 18th 1920 but it was just a really good story i really liked it i mean it was just it's what makes a good story uh the climax the um in the end of the story the happy some happy times some bad times but I just really like that story, and I hope you guys liked it too. Um, 9.5 out of 10. Just uh, next time, don't include everything about board meetings and uh, speeches and stuff. But here's the bibliography. And I really like this book, and I hope you do too. So that's it for my book review. I hope you liked it, and I hope you like this book. But um, uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And, uh, well, Susan B. Anthony out of here.